I had another question about the photograph that's all over the internet of you with the Afro. And what I thought was, I think he has a sense of humor. So what was with you with that? That, that was a tribute to Ben Wallace, the Troy Pistons forward. It took me four and a half hours to get my hair that way. I woke up at four, four, four o'clock in the morning. I worked at eight o'clock with Rochelle to get my hair that straight up in the air like that. She permed it, she did everything to it. And um, Ben Wallace is a forward who's the most valuable defensive player of the year. He used to be with the Detroit Pistons the year they won two years ago. He wore his hair like that. And it was a tribute to Albert Einstein and Beethoven. It was done in jest, but I was wearing my hair like Albert Einstein in those days. I was wearing my hair like Dylan, and uh, nobody was making fun of Dylan. I spent a lot of time on it in tribute to Ben Wallace and, and tribute to Albert Einstein, but it photographed far beyond my wildest dreams. But I had been wearing my hair that way for about eight months to a year, and it never photographed that way. I have pictures. That day, it got a little extreme. It got a little extreme, but photograph for some reason, in one photograph, only in one photograph, in a dark setting, in a particular camera lighting, photograph much puffier and bigger than it actually was. There are other pictures from the same day that don't look that way. In that courtroom, it looked that way. And I didn't know how big it was and how puffy it was. And I didn't know the press was gonna have a field day with it. Jay Leno said that I looked like I had been electrocuted already. I didn't mean to be that comical. I meant to have a sense of humor, but we, we went beyond the extreme and nobody pointed out to me because it didn't look that way in person. It photographed, you know, the darkness, the lighting, the camera, the shadows, the background, puffed it up to two or three times its size. It was like there were images behind me. But I actually thought, here's a guy who'll go to court with like a Jufro, and I- It didn't bother me though. I just didn't know they were gonna make an issue about it. But as I've looked, at, gotten to know you and looked at you, I think that, that you ha actually sometimes do things for effect, and sometimes you do it for a joke that you see that they don't see. I just don't like the idea that anybody doesn't think I'm taking this not seriously.